Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here, and these are five things you can do in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire that I thought were just too short for their own video. So first off, let's start off with heart scales. I believe that the best way of getting heart scales is through Wonder Trade. That with Wonder Trade, you're getting about 70 Pokemiles per trade, and that means three trades, two heart scales. That's not bad at all. It's not going to take a lot of time, and then you also have a decent amount, decent chance. Sure, there's a lot of junk Pokemon in Wonder Trade, but you can still get some Pokemon that have egg moves, that have hidden abilities, or even good IVs that people will throw their breed jacks up into the Wonder Trade, and you're going to be good from there. To cash in your points, go to the Pokemon Global Link website, make sure you're logged in, make sure you've synced up your game, and then use your Pokemiles from when you save your game while online in-game to buy items and then transfer them to your game over time. So this could be a really good way of getting PP up or heart scales, and it beats the frustration of fishing. After that, head to Route 108 if you already haven't, and go to the Sea Mauville if you already haven't. Make sure you have Surf and Dive in your party, and then just find your way through the Sea Mauville and go to the first door on the left. There'll be a strange presence in there. Search the bookshelves, go into your bag, and boom! Spirit Tomb will appear. It's going to be level 50, so I hope you're ready. After that, if you go to Little Root Town and you're in the post game or past the 5th gym, your mom will give you some cool stuff. She'll give you the opposite um, Mega Evolution Stone for one of the Lati Pokemon that if you already had Latiosite, she'll give you Latiosite, and vice versa. I believe that's after you've beaten the Delta chapter. However, if you have beaten the 5th gym, talk to her and she'll give you the Amulet Coin. That way, if you want to make some money, Amulet Coin's right there waiting for you. You can also head to Professor Birch's lab, and that's where you change Rotom's forms. There's some boxes of old appliances there, and if you have a Rotom in your party, you'll be able to choose which one you want. And finally, for this bag of tricks, let's head over to Fall Arbor Town. Fall Arbor Town is where you're going to be able to change Deoxys' forms. Head over to the scientist's house and touch the meteorite with Deoxys in your party. Now, it isn't like other games where you're able to choose which form, it just kind of cycles through all the forms in order, so keep touching that meteorite until you get the Deoxys that you want. Hope this helped, and if you guys want some quick videos like this, leave um, a suggestion in the comments, like what help you want with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, because a lot of the suggestions I've been seeing, I don't want to make a 30 second video for you guys that there's an ad that'll play that's longer than the video I make about some of these things. So, if you guys want some uh, help, just tell me what you want to see in the comments, leave a like, and most importantly, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.